Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the structure of the giant covalent molecules diamond and silicon dioxide. You should then be able to describe the properties of these molecules. And finally, you should be able to link these properties to the structures of the molecules. In the last video, we looked at the properties of small covalent molecules, and I've put a link to that video in the description below. Remember that small covalent molecules only have a small number of covalent bonds. I'm showing you here the hydrogen molecule H2, and hydrogen is a small covalent molecule. Small covalent substances have weak intermolecular forces between the molecules. When we melt or boil a small covalent substance, we need to break these weak intermolecular forces. Breaking the weak intermolecular forces does not take a lot of energy, and because of this, small covalent substances have low melting and boiling points. This means that most small covalent substances are gases at room temperature. Now in this video, we're looking at a different type of covalent substance. These are called giant covalent substances. Unlike small covalent substances, giant covalent substances contain millions of covalent bonds. We're going to look at three giant covalent substances. These are diamond, silicon dioxide or silica, and graphite. In this video, we're looking at diamond and silicon dioxide, and in the next video, we're looking at graphite. Now, a key fact you need to learn is that giant covalent substances are always solids at room temperature. That's because all giant covalent substances have high melting and boiling points. As we've seen, giant covalent molecules have millions of strong covalent bonds. In order to melt or boil these substances, we have to break all of these covalent bonds, and that takes a great deal of energy. So giant covalent substances all have high melting and boiling points. OK, we're going to start by looking at the giant covalent substance, diamond. Diamond is formed from the element carbon, and it's really important that you learn that. I'm showing you a carbon atom here. Carbon atoms have four electrons in their outer energy level. In order to achieve a full outer energy level, each carbon atom forms covalent bonds to four other carbon atoms, and I'm showing you that here. Now, another way to represent diamond is by using a diagram like this. In this diagram, the carbon atoms are shown as circles, and the covalent bonds are shown as sticks. Now, a diamond contains a huge number of carbon atoms joined by covalent bonds, and I'm showing you that here. Even a tiny diamond contains millions and millions of carbon atoms joined by covalent bonds. This makes diamond an extremely hard substance. Now, if we wanted to melt a diamond, then we need to break all of the covalent bonds, and that takes a huge amount of energy. So that means that diamond has a very high melting and boiling point. In fact, the melting point of diamond is over 3,700 degrees Celsius. Now, there's one other key property of diamond that you need to learn. Diamond cannot conduct electricity. That's because in diamond, all of the outer electrons are in covalent bonds. This means that diamond has no free electrons to carry electrical charge. And again, it's really important that you learn that. OK, here's our next giant covalent substance. This is called silicon dioxide or silica. Silicon dioxide contains the elements silicon and oxygen covalently bonded together. Because this is a giant covalent molecule, it contains a huge number of covalent bonds. And in fact, I'm only showing you a tiny part of the molecule here. Just like diamond, silicon dioxide has a very high melting and boiling point. And again, this is because silicon dioxide has a huge number of strong covalent bonds. In order to melt silicon dioxide, these covalent bonds must be broken, and that takes a great deal of energy. You'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my Vision Workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above.